All right, in this video, we're going to talk about how to make a uh, involute gear using the information given in front of you on the screen. Five inch pitch diameter, 20 degree pressure angle, and 20 teeth. I would highly recommend writing this information down on a small piece of paper so you can work through some of the formulas that you're going to need. In this PowerPoint, which can be found on the gear resource page, you can find the formulas necessary, um, several pieces of information that you'll need in order to go through drawing this gear. But starting with this information, we're going to go down through the step-by-step -step process where we need to now first find the addendum circle, the Di or the uh, pitch, diameter, pitch diameter circle and the dedendum. So we'll go right now to inventor and we're going to go ahead and draw the one circle we know without any calculation and that's going to be a five inch diameter pitch circle. So I'll jump into inventor, I'll grab my 2D start tool, grab one of my planes, circle tool, locking to the center and pulling out, creating a five inch diameter circle. From this point we'll jump back into the uh, directions here and we need to do the addendum next. So to come up with the addendum, we follow the formula here, which is A is going to be the addendum, small a, equals 1 divided by P. P is the diametrical pitch, written up here, diametrical pitch. And the diametrical pitch is found by dividing the number of teeth, which is N, by the pitch diameter. So coming back up to our information here, the number of teeth is 20 divided by the pitch diameter. So when we divide 20 by 5, the answer is 4. So we take 4 and we divide that by 1. So 1 divided by 4 is 0.25. That information here is where we're going to take the addendum and then we need to understand that the addendum distance is from the pitch diameter to the outside addendum circle and it occurs on both sides of the gear. So you need to add what would be the pitch circle plus the addendum twice. And that's why it's A times 2 plus the pitch diameter. Your addendum will be 5.5. So we'll jump back to Inventor, grab your circle tool, and we will draw an addendum circle at 5.5. When we go back to the directions, let's take a look at the dedendum. As we come down here for the dedendum, we're going to take information and we need to find the dedendum Different formula, instead of 1, it's going to be 1.157 divided by the diametrical pitch. That diametrical pitch is 4. When you work out the math, it comes out to 0 0.28925. Again, that occurs on both sides of the gear. So we multiply it by 2, but this time we subtract it from the pitch diameter so that we have a number less than 5. That number would be 4.4214. So we take this information and we go draw that diameter circle. So we'll grab your circle tool, pull 4.4214, 4.4214, I'm going to verify that, 4.4214, that is correct, and then we will create that dedendum circle. After we create the geometry, we're going to slide down to the next step. Uh, fairly simple, we are now going to draw a vertical line from the center point directly up so that it intersects all of the circles and then I would draw it past the outside uh, addendum. So line tool from center, drawing it directly vertical, making sure it goes past the outside addendum. Doesn't need to be a specific length, draw the line vertically. So as we continue down, now we've got to do a few other additional lines. What we want to do here is we want to draw a horizontal line from that intersection of what would be the pitch diameter circle we need a horizontal line so that's step one from point P draw a line perpendicular to the center line so we're going to go back to inventor grab our line tool this is going to be our point P right here so I will grab that click pull out straight to be horizontal and just draw a line out doesn't matter how long so I'll just let that line out the next thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw a line that is going to be at an angle and this is going to be a 20 degree angle. It is a 20 degree angle because this is the pressure angle for this gear. That's where the uh, pressure angle comes from in creating this gear tooth. So we'll draw this line from point P at a 20 degree angle. To do this I'll grab my line tool, I will select point P and I will come out. Now I can do this in a few ways. 
I can pull out to the distance I want. I can hit tab and type in 20 and hit enter. The other way that we could do this is if I wanted to grab my line tool, simply click and pull, drop the line at any given angle, and then dimension these two points together and type in 20 degrees. That would then move this line into position. So either way will work. Okay, the next step is we are now going to extend that line that is at a 20 degree angle to the other side of the uh, pitch diameter. So we're going to go ahead and use our extend tool, grab the extend tool, select the line, and allow that to extend over to the other side of the pitch diameter. When we have this, we can then start setting up our additional lines grab the line tool and now we're going to come up and then we need to be perpendicular to this line that we just drew. This line will also be not only perpendicular to this line but it will also be at a 20 degree angle. So if we go back and take a look at the instructions this is a 20 degree angle but it is also at a 90 degree angle or perpendicular to this extension line. So an inventor, we could set this up in a few ways. You could set this up to be a 20 degree angle. We can then verify this, that it's at 90 degrees by dropping an additional angle. Now, this is a redundant angle, it's not necessary, but you can then again verify that you're at 90 degrees and at 20 degrees. All right, now you have this geometry. Now we're ready to jump back into the directions again and slide on down. And now we gotta set up what is gonna be called point J. J is that intersection between your 20 degree angle line and the extension of your first 20 degree angle line. So understanding what point J is is important. As we come down from there, we want to now draw our base circle. The base circle will be from center to point J. So all we need to do as an inventor, grab our line tool, find center, I'm sorry, grab our circle tool, find center, and then draw out to that point J. When we intersect point J, we can then create that circle, and now we have our base circle. All right, now, as we get into this next piece, this is where we are starting to create the gear tooth profile. This is where we're going to need to use the Wellman's involute ondontograph chart. This ondontograph chart is going to give us specific pieces of information that we'll use in order to create this arc. In fact, these are two arcs that will then create the involute gear. So that very important piece is the base circle that we just created, and then the information from the ondontograph chart. This is the Wellman's involute ondontograph chart. We do not just pull the radii from this chart. We will need to use the radii big I and little r, or big R and little r, to figure out the radius that we will need. Yet it is important to understand that this is the 20 degree columns, not 14 and a half, the 20 degree columns, and 20 tooth. This is the information we're going to need. So as we slide down, in order to create the gear tooth profile, we're going to start with big R. To find the big R radius, we need to take the given radius from the chart, so that is 4.66, found right here, the big R column, 20 teeth, 20 degrees, 4.66. And we divide that by P. P is your diametrical pitch. So we're going to take P and divide. So we're going to divide by 4. Our radius becomes 1.165. So we will draw a radius of 1.165 from our intersection of P. So we'll go back to Inventor, I'm going to grab my circle tool, and this time I need to understand that it is radius. So I'm going to, when I start drawing my circle, I will start from center, I will pull out, right click, and change it to radius. And I will type in 1.165. Double check that that is correct. 1.165, that is correct. Once I draw that, I hit enter. Now, that radius... And the intersection of the base circle right here is the important aspect that I want because I will now draw that same radius circle from that intersection of the base circle 
And the arc that I just drew, or the circle I just drew, I will draw that intersection right here and pull out and type in 1.165. That gives me this arc. This arc will become one of two radii to create my involute gear. So I'm going to come back to the instructions here and just take a look. This is P. I draw from the center out to my base circle. And then using that intersection point, draw another radii, the same radius. I then go ahead and start trimming because I don't need any of those circle geometries except for that arc that runs from the addendum to my pitch diameter. So I'll grab my trim tool and I will start trimming off the other pieces of the circles. Once I have this isolated, I could go ahead and highlight both circles and delete them. All I need is this arc. All right, now we have big R. We need to roll down and we're going to now take care of little r. It's the exact same way. We're going to take the little r information from the ondontograph chart, which is 2.51. And then we're going to use the same information here. We're going to take 2.51 divided by the diametrical pitch of 4. And what we come up with is 0 0.6275. So we'll draw that radius circle from point P. So we're going to select and pull point. 0625, that doesn't sound right, 0 0.06275, that was not right, 0 0.06275, I'm sorry, 0 0.6, not 0, I don't know why I can't get this right today, there we go, 0 0.6275, always good to verify it's correct, and then from the intersection, we're going to do the same thing again, and come back out and draw 0 0.62275. 2, Enter. And then we need to trim all of that information except for the small arc. So we'll go ahead and grab my trim tool. Trimming off above. Well, it doesn't let you trim it. What I found is you just have to get rid of the constraints for uh, the circles. And then it should let you trim it up. So grab my trim tool should trim it now and then trim down here and now I have that arc I can then go ahead and delete the rest of my circles and now I have one side of my involute gear all right now that you have now that you have one side of the involute gear I'm gonna set up a part two video where we're gonna make the other side of the gear tooth and then we'll continue to array the solid out so look for part two of involute gear